Hi, Mike Mazzalongo here, BibleTalk.tv. I'm uh, answering some of your mail. Interesting uh, mail that's come in. Uh, someone asked, is worshiping online true worship? You know, with the uh, coronavirus, uh, the pandemic, uh, the uh, social distancing, people having to stay home, many churches have uh, canceled services, live services, and they are, uh, they're streaming their services online, having folks watch from home or from uh, other locations. And uh, some people are wondering, well, is this really, you know, is this really true biblical worship? One individual even quoted uh, Hebrews chapter 10. Uh, I'll read that for you. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25, the writer says, And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Here, the key point here is the pa is in the passage is um, not forsaking our own assembling together. And uh, the point that the writer was making is we're forsaking our assembling together. You know, we're at home. It's, uh, you know, we're watching TV. We're watching the, uh, we're watching the service uh, on our computers. Well, um, you know, the uh, traditional way to uh, gather for worship is to gather in the same uh, building or in the same room, if you wish, where we're all together uh, present. And uh, the author here of Hebrews is not talking about someone who is not in the assembly for a time because of a reason. Uh, he's talking about abandoning uh, the assembling of ourselves together. I mean, abandoning means letting go, rejecting, never coming back. That's what abandonment means. You know, I'll give you an example. If a, if a, if a husband, for example, who's married and has you know, several children, uh, if he's in the military, and he's called on deployment, and he has to leave uh, home for six months. He's leaving home. He's not going to be in the house, but he's not really abandoning his family, is he? No, he's, he's, he has work. He's, uh, he's a soldier. He's a military person, and um, his, uh, his job calls him away, just like if uh, you're a, a sales rep or an engineer that uh, needs to be um, away from home. You're, you're not abandoning your home. You have to be away from home. Well, this is the same idea. Uh, we're not abandoning services because we can't meet in the same building for worship uh, because uh, we're doing it for health uh, reasons and we're doing it for, uh, we're doing it for uh, a time. Uh, we need to realize that the online service uh, and many churches nowadays are, are providing online services, not because of the coronavirus, but uh, they're broadcasting their services live uh, each Sunday as a matter of service, if you wish, or convenience uh, for the people who are shut in, for example, folks that are traveling, or uh, individuals who are visiting and uh, visiting online. Uh, and so the online service uh, complements or supplements uh, the uh, regular service that uh, the church is uh, conducting live uh, in the uh, church building. Uh, I like to say that uh, uh, the uh, online or streaming services may complement or supplement uh, live worship, but it can't replace live worship. Uh, there are things that just cannot be duplicated uh, online, and that is, of course, the, the, the uh, human interaction that takes place when we worship together, when we hear each other sing, and when we hear the prayer of a brother, or, you know, the handshakes and the hugs and the, uh, uh, the personal interaction that takes place uh, during worship. These type of things just can't be replaced uh, with, a, uh, with a video, no matter how sophisticated, no matter how well put together the uh, uh, the program is uh, it can never replace face-to-face uh, face-to-face um, uh, -face meeting uh, and in-person uh, worship. So let's remember that during this uh, time of uh, of distress and 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 difficulty, where we have to kind of stay in place and not meet in public. Uh, this too shall pass uh, with time, and we'll be able to take up once again our regular services. I do commend, however, all those congregations that go to the trouble of organizing. Uh, streaming services for their members. Perhaps this emergency will have caused 
uh, various churches to kind of step up, tech, uh, you know, uh, technically to provide this type of uh, this type of service for their members and for other people. It's a great evangelistic tool as well, and I commend all the churches that are doing this. And I encourage you to continue to do it even after the uh, the virus scare is over and, and we go back to normal. Uh, in the meantime, I pray for you and I continue to pray for all the churches that uh, we will remain faithful during this uh, difficult moment and the Lord will bring us back together so we can uh, enjoy and celebrate uh, being together for regular worship uh, each Lord's Day in the future. God bless you. We'll see you soon.